as we went into the last event. It's a two-lap race of the Zolder circuit, and it's between a Porsche 911, a racing Porsche 911, which will be driven by professional racing driver Tim Schreck. And he will be against an Aston Martin DBRS9, which will be driven by James May. Do we have to use James? Well, no, you did the bowler thing. I did the mini thing. It's his turn. But he's going to lose badly. Happily, though, I'd come up with a plan. Do you know what I mean? Clever. Very clever. There's Dustin. There's James. Yeah, it's James. He's coming for the race. He always dresses. He, he lost always... 30 kilos in five minutes. Yeah, he always dresses like this when he drives a racing. James, best of luck, James, mate. Good luck, and mate. And his hair. Best of luck. Cut good luck. His hair. Mate, mate. There's lost his hair. He has a hair. Come between lungs up. Don't disturb him when he's focused and in the zone, ready for a race. He's ice cool. Well, this could work. Could do. There's every chance. It would be a rolling start. And because we were four points behind, James, who's now warming his tyres, look had to set off four seconds after the Porsche. The race was on. The simple fact of the matter is this. Our young man had to shoot down their young man at the rate of two seconds a lap. If he does full throttle on the straight, I'm sure it's not kept in slow. I know on the truck. Well, you know, we get, that's his nickname. It's like, you know, we call him Lofty. It's the opposite. Towards the end of the first lap, James had closed the gap to just one second. James was driving brilliantly, but then disaster. He locked up, he lost ground, and then he had the work to do all over again. Happily, James is no quitter, and with half a lap to go, he was right back under the Porsche's wing. With just two corners to go, he made his move. I don't want to see. I can hear them, I can hear them both. Which car would appear first? Which one? Saved our bacon. Others say I was banned and gagged in the locker room. Yes. <laughs> and on that bombshell, that bouncing bombshell, it's now time to end. Uh, if you are a German and you have any complaints about the film you've just seen, though, do please feel free to uh, to write to us. Our address is 1966 <laughs> El Alamein Square, 1939 to 1945 Jutland Street, London, <laughs> WE1. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Good night! A couple of brand new series starts.